Hello, my name is Abdullah Dubai Ban, and I'll be talking about the issues and the problems that the company might have faced. But before I start, I just wanted to mention, so every company when they want to try to move abroad, they might have, they might run into the same problems or same issues. So it's really hard to tell which are the main problems that cause the company to fail. But in this case, I believe that these four problems are the main issues that led the company to, to fail in the specific uh, countries. So we'll go through all these problems with the examples and I'll make this sweet and short. So first problem, entering the market without studying or understanding its culture. The price is too high for what it's worth. Religion war, boycotting and global and local competition. All these problems are connected to each other. So for example, let's go in with the understanding of the culture. If you don't understand the culture, you don't know what the people want or you do not know what it's okay for you to do and what's not okay for you to do in this culture then just then don't bother in moving abroad okay so these are all connecting to each other so once this problem is there all these other problems are coming up so if if you solve this problem you won't be all you won't be having all these other problems and you won't be here you won't be hearing me talking about this problem because it won't be a problem so I'll be connecting the dots too, though we'll go with the second problem. The price is too high for what it's worth. As you can see on the right side, you will see a type of bread, which is the naan or roti, which is related to the Indian cuisine culture. And on the left side, you have the pita bread, which is important in the Middle Eastern culture, especially for those who ate shawarma and gyros. They taste good. Um, so for example, I'll be using the Middle East as an example since I'm from there. So if you want to, so if you want to get a big bag of uh, uh, pita bread, and this big bag it might even contain to from seven to nine loaves of bread, that wouldn't even cost you a dollar. So that's by itself, it just really low. So the company did not understand that part. They didn't understand that in our culture we believe in sharing is caring, and we love to share our food. And bread is really an important thing to us when it comes to lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's by itself, it was, it was also a local competition too, which we'll get to it um, later. So they did not understand that point of view and which basically also was a really a problem because let's be honest, who would want to buy an expensive bread and for a less amount of bread and expensive, uh, like less amount of bread and it's expensive versus buying a fresh uh, baked, uh, bread while it's a lot that you can feed everyone with you and on top of that it's cheap so that's my point on that so religion war religion war by cutting so basically that's not really a company issue it's more of a local it's more of a country wise issues you know so France two years ago and seven years ago I believe and also Denmark you know they had problems when it came to offending the Islamic the whole world of Islam, the Islamic society, the Islamic community, they offended uh, the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad, by drawing him in an up in an in a horrible ways that it was really offensive. Just the fact of drawing him, it was it's a, just a no, and that pissed off a lot of people and pissed off the whole Islamic world, which uh, made the whole country, the whole world, boycott European product. Um, period. They just just, they had to stop everything. They block out everything. Some companies even had to leave the, the Middle Eastern country. So it was really a big issue. And that affected the company sales and affected other companies too. You know, because we take religion seriously on that part. And I believe that all religions should be also respected too. So we'll go into the global and local competitions. So the global local and local com competitions so we talked about the local earlier on the second problem okay so the local competition was basically having a really cheap bread and high quality versus a different brand and it's really hard to go and compete with this so you need to find a strategy and that's something that the company did not really find because they thought that okay we will make it will be wow and hopefully people will be buying our product so people tried it they just found it like a regular, uh, like a regular, regular, blah, my bad, regular bread. So globally, I don't know if there's really big companies, but I know local companies, they are, 
doing crazy ideas uh, by delivering their product, their product. And that's something that the company did not even approach to because in our countries, we basically have like certain companies who make like a tiny sandwiches wrapped up and you can store it and it's fresh day by day and it doesn't even cost you maybe 50 cents. It's like the cinnamon bun. You just go grab it and you just open it and you eat it with different flavors. They could have approached it that way because that would be helping students, um, little kids, anybody who wants to have a snack. And that's something that I grew up uh, eating and it was really worth it, you know, especially for those who doesn't want to spend money. So I believe these are the problems that caused the companies and I apologize for taking too long. And uh, my friends will continue the rest part and uh, hopefully I explain everything. If there's any questions or anything, just please feel free to ask me. So thank you.